up guys, your boy Ain't More Ice 2. It's that time of year again. Country World Annual Anime Awards. Um, I'm excited about this. I voted, so I'm gonna give you what I think about it. Every year I'm excited because some anime I might miss on Netflix or Amazon Prime, I always can look on the list of the categories and go rewatch it before I form an opinion and vote. So I love that. Without further ado, the first category is Anime of the Year. Now with that category, I went with Yushu Kaisen because it was the, one of the best animes of last year. Um, I could have went with Apari, um, the one on, I think it was on Funimation. I really liked that one too. It was really good. And Keep Your Hands on the Arm of the Isaac one of my favorite ones too, but I definitely went with Yushu Kaisen on that one. And the next category we have is the best protagonist. Now this was a tough category. I could have went with Hinata. Um, I could have went with anybody. Um, my man from Jujutsu Kaisen. Could have went with him too. But I had to go with my guy, Anos Von Diegold. Because that's my guy. And I love that. So, And now we got the best antagonist category. Best antagonist. Now this category could have went multiple ways. One, Rachel grinds my gears. And Suka could have been in one too, but from Jujutsu Kaisen, but I went with Akito Soma because he playing with people's lives out here and he grinds my gears to a whole nother level. And Fridge Bass is one of my favorite animes of all time. So the remake, I like to see it, but he definitely, he pulls certain strings. He definitely did. And the next category is Best Boy. Best Boy.
for this category, oh my god, Hanada. Um, I mean, you watch the anime, you guys know, you know, to the top. And now we have the category for best girl. Best girl. For this category, I had to go with Mizuhara. I could have easily been with Miss Claus. Um, for my life as a villainess, that's one of my favorite animes too. But I had to go with Mizuhara. And the next category is Best Opening Sequence. sequence. For this category, only with love is war, daddy daddy do. I mean, no recognition for this. You know, they all they all got the best controls. And the next category is best ending sequence. Ending sequence. I went with the last dance from Inspectra, getting some side eyes as I speak it because I didn't pick the Jutsu Kaisen. I mean, it's cool. I mean, but I should have picked that one too. But I went with last dance. And the next category is the best voice actor performance. You know, Japanese. Japanese. ギバを向くのが僕だけだと思ってんなら痛い目見るよおじいちゃんつくて俺を愛してくれて世界で誰より俺に厳しくて俺に甘くない女が霊夢だからだ実体もないのに不当に権利の幅を利かせる部は迷
no one could ever replace With this category um i had to go listen to them because i don't watch um dub anime unless the series is over and i watch no kids but i went with my guy from b stars because his voice sounded the most appealing to me i guess the next category we have is best director For this category, I picked Decadence. I could have went a lot of ways on this one, but I like how Decadence was shot with the human world and the computer world and how it ended. It was just, it was just great. The next category we have is Best Animation. I chose Keep Your Hand on the Easy Pin because the way it's drawn and how they show you how anime used to be made and they go through all the levels of it and the sound, like the animation on there is just great, like so ahead of its time. It was amazing. You should watch it. And the next category we have is Best Character Design. Character design. For this category, I went with Tower of God. You really could have went anyway with any of these, but this one, all the character designs in this category are great. And the next category we have is Best Fight Scene. Best Fight Scene. In this category, like, majority of these fights were amazing, so like, it's kind of hard to pick, but for me, Deku versus Overhaul was just on a whole nother level when it happened, so I was in love with that one. So I and now we have one of my favorite categories, if you know me, Soulja King, Best, Best Drum. Drama.
Now for this category, like this is this is, this is my favorite genre. So like, I could have went with Somali and the Forest Birds. I could have went with Fruit Baskets, um, you no know, season two because it's one of my favorite animes too. But same yesterday for me, it just was so good. The drama, the suspense, it was really good. So I had to go with that. Next category we have is best comedy. Best comedy. Now, all of these in this category was funny, but I had to go with the Misfit of Demon King Academy because they was unabashedly my man, questioning his lineage, like, the disrespect, and it was just funny. The next category we have is Best Score, and that's one of my harder ones to pick. Best Score. Now, for this one with Tower of God, but I could have used it with any of them. Like, anime music is just amazing all the time. Like, I can listen to it by itself just riding down the street. The next category for my other favorite category is Best Couple. Best Couple. For this category, I went with Nasa and his wife, you know, because, you know, they're actually married. Everybody else in the category, like, Katarina was in a whole um, relationship and gave, probably engaged to a prince. How do you put her with Maria? That was weird. And um, Shizuru wasn't, she's a runner girlfriend, like, they're not together yet. Like, so this was the only real couple to me, and I love them, so I picked them. And the last category is Best Fantasy. Fantasy. Now, any of these could have been picked, they're all the night, especially ReZero, um, Adventures of Die, like, Dragon Quest is cool. So, like, I could have picked any of them, but I had to go with a sentence of a bookworm because it had a special place in my heart. I just love the anime. It's like, it's so good. You should watch it if you haven't watched it. 
thanks for watching my video um stand by for my winter anime list you know how i do that i'm gonna promote it with that maybe in like two or three weeks and make sure you watch the anime awards this saturday